The best way to access the Croton River is by canoe or kayak from Echo Launch at the back of the Metro North parking lot. It was named after the Hudson Valley Echoes, an early environmental group founded by Croton resident Theodore Cornu. From there, you can head to your right under the truss bridge and explore the Hudson, or proceed to your left past the salt marshes and explore the Croton. From its origin at the Croton Dam to its terminus at Croton Point, the Lower Croton River is a natural wonder filled with flora and fauna of every description. The fresh water of the Croton joins the salty water of the Hudson in an estuary that is extraordinary in the extent of its biodiversity. Geologically, it is the product of the Wisconsin Glacier, which retreated more than 10,000 years ago. It takes its name from the Kichewank Indians, who maintained an impressive stockade on Croton Point. The passage up river takes us by the remnants of the Old Post Road and eventually the Van Cortlandt Manor House. Stephanus Van Cortlandt's manor was the historic headquarters of his sprawling 86,000 acre enterprise which extended north to Anthony's Nose and east to Connecticut. Today it is managed by historic Hudson Valley and serves as an interpretive museum providing a wide range of recreational and instructional programming. A short paddle upstream takes us past a set of pebble rapids flanked by Paradise and Goose Islands. To our left we find Mayo's Landing, which precedes the Dickies, an impressive set of cliffs which have lured adventurous divers over the ages. Now a private residence, it was once the Nico Inn, and during the 19th century it was the abutment for the ill-fated High Bridge, which was high enough to allow full rig sailing vessels to pass. Just ahead and to our right we find the ruin of the Bailey Ironworks and finally Fireman's Island. Flanked by two rushing rapids, it marks the end of the tidal portion of the river. About a quarter of a mile upstream, a small dam creates the swimming hole beloved by generations of Crotonites, Silver Lake. In official use since the 40s, it replaced its predecessor, Black Rock, another lovely location just beyond the Quaker Bridge. The village wellhead, the source of the finest water in Westchester County, marks the border between the village of Croton and the town of Cortland. Hi, I'm Virginia Comstock. Now, I used to be Virginia Niles. My mother was Mary Matlock, and she grew up and was born in Croton under the dam and uh, was uh, baptized in the old church that was there where the fountain is today. Uh, I grew up there on what is 129 now. And within the vision of the dam, I could see it from my house all the time. It was great. I lived up on the, always in the water over there, the Croton River. It was my home all summer. That was the greatest because I was in the water all the time or climbing trees or hiking up the top of the mountain and had a beautiful view and I watched the flying squirrels. No, that was fun. I built my own goldfish bowl in the river. It was a big rock, so I piled rocks all around it and made a pool. And I, I would corner the big carp, gold carp, and put them in that. It was my goldfish bowl until the next storm. 